Hi guys, welcome to the Kids Town Show, the first ever premiere Kids Town Show. You're tuning in. We are so glad that you're here. I'm Pastor Ben. And I'm Miss Corey. Sad we can't be together, but I'm excited to bring the fun of Kids Town right to you in your home. We've got all sorts of fun stuff planned. We've got game time with the incredible Mr. Mike. We've got visitors today from the Kenny and Clay Show. Their names? Kenny, Kenny and, Clay. and Clay. Right, exactly. So we're going to have a great time together. Can't wait to get started. So let's jump right in. We're going to get started with Mr. Mike. He has a really fun game ready for you. Keep calm and game on. Game on. Hey there, kids. Mr. Mike here. Let's start out tonight with our clapping game. Remember, when my hands cross, you clap. If my hands don't cross, you don't clap. Here we go. Ready? Parents, you can even do this too. Here we go. Ready? Nice job. I think you're warmed up. Here we go. Ready? You ready? Watch this. My hands didn't cross. Be honest. Did your hands cross? Come on, guys. All right. This time I'm not going to cross them. Don't clap. Ready? Complete silence. All right. Here we go. Ready? All right, nice job giving yourself a round of applause. Okay. Now, tonight's challenge is going to be, and it's going to require you to go get something in your house that I'm sure a lot of you have. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, when I say go, to go find a jump rope and meet me right back here, and we're going to have a jump off, me versus all of you. Okay? Ready? Go. <laughs> I was so close to winning. You were the first one out. Oh. Yeah, but jump rope is hard. Not that hard. All right, well, let's move on from that embarrassing spectacle. Next, we have Funny, Crazy, Wacky, Wonderful World, one of my favorite parts of the Kids Town Show. Funny, Crazy, Wacky, Wonderful World is where we are going to do fun and crazy things that you might not get to do at home. In fact, don't do this at home. See, now, we have a special guest today. Kenny and Clay from the Kenny and Clay Show. Let's head outside and see what they are up to. All right, Kids Town, so I'm here with Kenny and Clay. These guys are thinking ahead. Easter's coming. They want to have the longest egg toss ever. Hey, guys, how far do you think you can throw this egg and catch it? I think we can throw it pretty far. Probably farther than you could throw it. So. Um, I don't think so, but okay. How many feet? How many feet do you think? Least. 20 feet, 20 feet. I'm thinking more like 400, all right? So we'll see what they can do. Here we go.
Hey guys, I, I gotta take this, alright? But you keep going. Come on, come on. Let me see you dance. Come on, come on. Here's a real long one, you ready? Wow, those guys are incredible. Yeah, incredible. Wrong place, wrong time? You could say that. I guess I'll just have to forgive them. Hey, that reminds me of what we've been talking about in Bible time this, this month. Oh, yeah. Forgiveness. That's right, forgiveness. Yeah, we've been talking about how forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. That applies perfectly for me. I'll forgive them. I'll forgive them. Okay, that's what I'll do. Yeah, just like we learned in the parable of the rich man's servant and Zacchaeus. And I think, yeah, Miss Dawn today has an awesome story from the Bible that talks all about forgiveness. Let's go see what she has to say to us. Hi, everyone. Today we have an awesome story from Jesus about forgiveness. See, when Jesus was here on earth, he taught many things. He also healed people that were sick. People loved to follow Jesus. They just wanted to be near him. They just wanted to hear what he had to say. That is how awesome Jesus is. So one day, there was a crowd of people, and they were following Jesus. And Jesus went to the side of a mountain just to sit, and his disciples sat with him, and he taught them. So you can read, we can read what he taught them right here from the Bible. So if you have a Bible at home, you can stop this for just a second, and I'll still be right here, and go grab your Bible. And if not, it's okay, because I have one, and I'm more than happy to read it to you. Okay, so if you have a Bible, I want you to turn to Matthew. Matthew is in the New Testament. We have an Old Testament and a New Testament. So I want you to turn to Matthew, and I want you to find the big five. And when you find the big five, I want you to scroll with your finger down and find the little 23. And we're going to read. I'll read to you. Jesus taught about a lot of things that day, and here is what he said. Suppose you are offering your gift at the altar, and you remember that your brother or sister has something against you. Leave your gift in front of the altar. First go and make peace with them. Then come back and offer your gift. Now, today we don't offer gifts at God's altar. That's what they used to do before Jesus came. But... We do worship and we do pray. And Jesus wants us to make sure that if we're angry with somebody or maybe we did something to hurt somebody, that we make things right with them before we go to prayer with him. I'm going to show you what that would look like today. I'm going to show you what that would look like today. So I'm supposed to have somebody here helping me. But quite sure why it's taken him so long. Pastor Ben, are you? Oh, hey, Pastor Ben. Oh, hi. Um, I, hey, so uh, I thought you were going to say, um, I, today I could come up and help. I did. Twice. Oh, you did? Yes. Twice. Oh, but okay. that's okay. What do we got here? All right. We have an Xbox controller. So for any of you at home that like to play video games, I'm sure this looks really familiar to you. So let's say that you are sitting in your house playing a video game with a friend. But you're taking a little too long. You're getting so involved in the game and you're having so much fun that you realize that you're hogging the controller. And you don't do it on purpose, but your friend thinks that you are doing it on purpose and maybe gets a little bit angry. So maybe that fun time now turned into an argument and either your friend will leave or maybe your parents will come down and tell you to stop yelling. So this is what Jesus is talking about. He wants us to make things right with each other. Forgiveness is so important. So if somebody does something to hurt you, you should be willing to forgive them. Or maybe you did something to hurt someone else. You should be quick to say, I'm sorry. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. So I have another example for you. 
Hey, I caught the cue this time, you didn't did. I? You did. That's oh. great. Yeah, sure. No problem. You're... Uh, oh, well, I, I actually... I, I need a box two. This is box three. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll yeah. be right back. It's okay. So, we'll wait for box two. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay, here you go. Okay. Okay, so here I have a soccer ball. Okay, so let's picture this. You're on a soccer team, and you are practicing for a really big game that's coming up, and your teammates are there. So you start showing them that you can do some pretty neat things with the soccer ball. Would you demonstrate for us, Pastor Ben? Okay, so you're trying to show them that you can kick this ball, and you can keep it in the air, and it won't even touch the ground. Good job, Pastor Ben. And maybe you say something like, look how good I am, guys. Look what I can do. I bet nobody else can do this. So your friends and teammates might not think that that was so nice. They actually might think you're showing off a little bit. So maybe during the game, they didn't pass to you, even when you were wide open. And it made you feel pretty bad. So maybe what you could do is go to your friends after the game and say, hey, guys, I'm sorry that I seem to be showing off a little bit. I probably shouldn't have said those things. I probably shouldn't have said that I'm better or that you couldn't do this as well as me. Would you please forgive me? Wow, that takes a lot of courage. But I bet, I bet they would forgive you. Okay, so we're back to our last box. All right, and that's box number three. Now I need box number three. <clears throat> Now I need box number three. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get box number three, but I'll tell you what was in it. It was confetti. Um, how can... Oh, wait a minute. How, why, is this random box of desserts on the table here? Well, you know what? I could use this as my demonstration. OK, so picture this. You get into an argument with somebody, and it's, it's just not feeling good. So you decide that you want to forgive them. Or maybe you hurt them, so you want to say, I'm sorry, and they can forgive you. When that happens, it feels so good. Have you ever had somebody forgive you, and it just makes you feel so good? Or have you ever been able to say to somebody, hey, I forgive you. And that relationship gets restored. It is so wonderful. And you know what? It turns that problem into a celebration. And what do you do when there's a celebration? You eat dessert. So, hmm. That's some good dessert. Oh, hey, hey Pastor Ben. Uh, Miss Dawn, did yeah. you see... Did you see some whoopie pies around here somewhere? So I'm going to a party, and there's like 20 people there, and I had 20 whoopie pies, mm. and I lost them somewhere. I don't know where they are. Mm. Um, ac actually, um, I, I opened them. Oh. And, and, and I ate one. You ate? <laughs> yeah, I oh, did. Oh, you ate my whoopie pies. I did. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry, Pastor Ben. I, I, didn't, I didn't know they were yours. You know what? That's okay. Don't, don't even worry about it. It's totally fine. <sighs> Yeah, okay. it's totally fine. Yeah, I'm going to grab them, though. Wait, so you're, that's it? You're just, you're not upset that you can't bring them to the party now? Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll find something else. Yeah, so no problem. You just forgive me for opening your dessert and eating it without asking? Totally forgiven. Totally forgiven. Wow, that feels really good when somebody comes and forgives you. Thank you for forgiving me for that. Oh, don't even worry about it. My pleasure. So... That is just a perfect example of how Jesus wants us to be with our family, with our friends. He wants restored relationships. So if somebody hurts you, you should forgive them. Or if you hurt somebody else, and maybe you don't even know what you did, but you just know that somebody is maybe not happy with you, and you're not sure why. It takes courage, but taking that first step to say, hey, I'm sorry, and I care about you. It goes a long way, and it feels really good to restore that relationship, and that's what Jesus wants us to do. Hey, and God forgives us every day for things that we do, so if God's forgiving us, we should show that same grace to the people in our lives and forgive them. I'm going to take a minute now and pray with you guys. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day, 
And Lord, even though we can't be together at Kids Town tonight, thank you that we could still be here and, and share Kids Town with all the amazing kids at our church. Lord, help us to forgive one another the way that you forgave us. Help us to show grace, even when it's hard, and help us to be quick to say I'm sorry if we've hurt someone. We ask that you just um, keep everybody safe, Lord, and watch over us, and thank you for this night. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Miss Dawn. You're welcome, Pastor Ben. I'm so glad that Miss Dawn was willing to forgive me when I missed my cue and brought the wrong box and all that stuff. You know, inevitably, you're going to have to forgive someone. Someone's going to do something wrong, and you'll have the opportunity to take the first step to forgive. Right? That's why Jesus came. Jesus came so that we could be forgiven by God, and now we can forgive others because of what he has done for us. So let's go and together follow Jesus and forgive those around us. Wow, what a great story from God's Word about forgiveness. Why don't we play a game to learn more about forgiving? Forgiving or unforgiving? I'm going to pick a scenario and you guys follow along. Tell me, is this scenario forgiving or unforgiving? Your friend says something unkind. You say something mean back. Kids, is this forgiving or unforgiving? Ding, ding, ding! It is unforgiving. Let's roll the die. Oh, two. If you answered unforgiving, you were correct. Take two steps forward. If you didn't, take two steps back. All right, let's do another one. Hmm. Your mom promises to take you out for ice cream, but the game goes too late, and that means no ice cream. Instead of getting mad, you say, it's okay, Mom. Could we get ice cream tomorrow? Hmm. Is this forgiving or unforgiving? Ding, ding, ding. It is forgiving. Great job. If you answered forgiving, take two steps forward. If you answered unforgiving, take two steps back. All right. We got two more scenarios. Let's see what's next. Your friend borrows your pencil and breaks it accidentally. When she apologizes, you smile and say, accidents happen. Hmm, is this forgiving or unforgiving? What do you think? Yes, you got it. Good job. This is forgiving. <gasps> Take six steps forward if you answered forgiving. Take six steps back if you answered unforgiving. We got one more, here we go, get ready. A kid on the playground pushes you during a game. You push him back even harder. Hmm, is this forgiving or unforgiving? Good job, you got it, this is unforgiving. Let's see, if you said unforgiving, take six steps forward. If you said forgiving, take six steps back. Great job, kids. You did a great job playing this game with me. In these scenarios, things happen that were unfair and hurtful. And sometimes when we get hurt, we want to hurt the person back or stay angry. But Jesus tells us to forgive first. So let's make sure that we take the first step to forgive so that we can protect our relationships with the people around us. Wow. Thanks, Miss Corey. You know, Forgiveness is so important to building up the relationships around us and to keeping those relationships healthy. I, I think that that was a great w lesson from God's Word. Kids, thank you so much for tuning in to the Kids Town Show. Hey, we love you guys. We're going to be praying for you guys, and we will see you next week either here or on your television screen, in your house. Either way, we can't wait to see you again. Have a great night.